Thank you. Thank you. This is, well, first of all, I want, I want, I want to thank um, Fabrizio for that beautiful introduction. Fabrizio has been leading our company for the last seven years, and he has been absolutely extraordinary in terms of what he's done for our company and transforming our portfolio and our performance and his investment in the fragrance industry. I also want to thank William Lauder, our chairman, who has been unbelievably supportive to me for the past 24 years at working at the Estee Lauder companies and has been really a beacon in terms of all of us aspiring to even greater heights. So thank you, William. Also, I, um, Kendall, um, thank you for being here tonight. I have a lot of friends in the room, but near, not nearly as many as you have. When I knew that you were coming here tonight, I checked my Instagram account, and I have 17 followers. <laughs> I think you have 45 million followers in all your, or 48 million followers in all your platforms, so I have a long way to improve. Um, it's really an honor for me to be here and to accept this award because it was Estee Lauder herself who created the modern day fragrance industry in the United States. And in fact, um, the Fragrance Foundation has honored Estee Lauder, Jeanette Wagner, Leonard Lauder and Evelyn Lauder, as well as the designers that we're associated with over these past 43 years as well. Um, and I'm very much grateful for that. Um, my, my fragrance journey is kind of interesting because I began um, as the fragrance guy, became the makeup guy, and came back to fragrance again. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and I have my mom here tonight, Renee Dempsey, and my <laughs> my sister and my niece Molly, but it was, it was my parents who instilled in me the love of fragrance. And most of you may or may not know, I had a cousin, Bernie, who won the Hall of Fame Award in 1981 when he created Jovan. So there was actually a little bit of fragrance in the family business, and my sister went on to marry a supplier, and my niece is here tonight. So I got a lot out of the fragrance industry, and so did my family. I began my career um, in 1983 as an assistant buyer, and Rosemary Bravo gave me my first break. I worked at Revlon, and I've had an amazing career at Estee Lauder for the past 24 years, and have come full circle back to fragrance. This event means a lot to me. Um, the first event that I came to in New York City in the early 80s was this Fragrance Foundation event. And sitting in the audience as an assistant, coming off of the floor, and then it, it, it's, it's an, incredible, um, an incredible journey for over 30 years to be here. I want to extend my personal gratitude, and I put them into categories. First, the bosses. I've had amazing bosses over the years, and a special shout out to Muriel Gonzalez, who made me a fragrance buyer way back when. The perfumers, we couldn't do it without you. The suppliers, the trade, the media, the special relationship that I've enjoyed with Michael Kors, Tommy Hilfiger, Donna Karen, Tori Birch, and with Tom Ford, and also the incredible people that I work with at Estee Lauder. A special shout out to the product development group of you know, Karen Corey and Trudy Lauren, Carl Haney, Annie Carrillo, and Jennifer Balbier. I wouldn't be up here if it wasn't for all of you. And um, lastly, the brand teams. I work with an amazing portfolio of brands, and I don't want to leave anybody out, so I'm thanking everybody all at once right now, so I don't have any, any, um, anything tomorrow, but I, 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 um, I've worked with the most incredible creative directors and brand leaders, and I am, I am up here because of you. And when I came to Estee Lauder and I've gone on my 24 journey across the company, Leonard Lauder gave me some very sage advice. Whenever you're confused or whenever you don't know what to do in business, the answer's always in the room. And the family, Evelyn, William, Leonard, and Evelyn, have taught me so many lessons. As Leonard Lauder says, if you can't see the future, you will never get there. My brand experiences at Estee Lauder and Donna Karen were nothing short of phenomenal in my early years. And in fact, it's very interesting. My first boss told me, and it wasn't Rosemary Bravo, um, that I wasn't going to amount to anything. And it's, um, it's, it's, it's kind of sweet many, many, many years later um, because um, I guess I did amount to something. And it's a testament to 
following your passions and your dreams, and staying incredibly focused. It's an amazing thing to know that a kid growing up in Shaker Heights, Ohio, can stand up here with all these legends. And for those of us who ponder what is the next thing, I know tonight the answer's in the room. Thank you.